Hi. A downtown mural to their former classmate, Chris Harding. The 13-year-old boy died last month, the victim of a hit-and-run accident on South Riverside Drive. The students who worked on the mural included images of Chris and his family in the painting. TV9's Iowa City Newsroom reporter Mike Wagner shows how this work of art has helped people cope with the teenager's sudden death. It's my pleasure to dedicate this mural in honor of Christopher Harding, an important student of CEC, an important member of our community. When Chris Harding and his classmates started this mural, they'd hoped to show the different cultures of people living in Iowa City. But since his death, the painting reflects much more. Because you have all the people in the downtown area, and you have the capital and the fountain and stuff to represent downtown, but yet all of Chris's friends are in here, and Chris. Chris always worked right here, and uh, I always worked pretty much right here, and I used to have to kick him out of my spot and everything, and so he ended up always sitting on the phone booth, and so that's why we painted him above the booth here and stuff like that. Sean and other students say the painting helped them work through Chris's death. It's also helped Chris's father. Bob Harding visited the mural every day after his son's funeral. So far it's helped me just associating with the students and the teachers, the people that come by, comment on it. It's been more of a family type community, you know, pull things together. Kind of a therapy for me to forget about the other stuff going on. While the murals changed several times, the students left the portions Chris painted unfinished. They hope the painting will last for years as a symbol of their work and friendship to Chris Harding. Chris is everywhere here. His spirit is with us. I'm sure he's watching us somewhere. Uh, he has been uh, an, an inspirational power behind this project. From the Iowa City Newsroom, Mike Wagner, KCRG TV9 News. If you get a chance, we hope you go look at the mural. It's in downtown Iowa City on the first floor of the Lenick and Selick Plaza. ...is remembered today. This mural called People of Iowa City is dedicated to 13-year-old Christopher Harding, who was one of the artists working on it in the Lenick and Selick Mall. His teacher, Hani Ankadi, says Harding was instrumental in coming up with the ideas for the mural. Harding's parents, Robert Harding and Donna Van Bibber of Iowa City, say the memory of their son will live forever on this wall. Yeah, felt real good to have Chris remembered, and uh, as the mural progressed, I was usually up here and could get to know the students, get to know the teacher, and basically get to know my son and get to know a little bit more. There's uh, so many things in the community that are here, so many different people, nationalities, and that's the way it is in Iowa City. Um, I'd like to remember Chris as being a part of that not prejudice. Chris was always the most energetic, the most creative. He would come and say, let us put this here, let us make a tree here, let us uh, put a bicycle here, let's put cars here. So he was always coming up with ideas. El Cotti also says the mural reflects real people in Iowa City. You can find Harding's picture close to his car in the upper right hand corner where he used to sit and paint. El Cotti also says the Community Education Center art students wanted the mural dedicated in Christopher Harding's honor. Still to come.